So Neil, you've just drew 2-2 two -two against Westfields. Tell me about your thoughts about the game. I'm really pleased with the point, to be fair. Um, like probably every club at this stage of the season, you've got players out. We have five or six out that could have started. Um, the players that have come in have done really well, put in a great shift. And that's all you can ask for. You put in a shift. I said to the guys, probably Mangotsfield a few, few weeks back, I don't want any dead rubbers for the end of the season. We knew we were safe. Uh, we knew you know, what, we, what we needed to do. Um, and what we wanted to do, and like I said, it, it, it's just another valuable point. It just shows where we where, where we where we've come in the in the in the season. You know, we got a uh, you know we got probably walloped by these early season, um, and like I said, you know, we've been under the cost again tonight, and we've put bodies on the line, uh, blocks. You know, keepers made some saves. You know, we, you know, we, you know, we've defended set pieces really well. We had some height that wasn't available for us today, and we still ended up, you know not giving them any real free headers in the box. So, like I said, you know, I've got to be really delighted with the point and the performance. Uh, you talk about the goalkeeping. Tell me about the inclusion of Billy Thomas and then also Jasper Allen in the midfield. Uh, Jasper's played for us uh, against Slimbridge early, early season in the Cup um, and he did really well that night. And then it's been really difficult to get him back involved because our midfield three, four, you know, we've had five people that have been playing regularly and, reg and really well. It's difficult to get somebody in and, and get them the minutes um, that they would like, and you know, I'd like to have a you know have a look at them. Um, but he, he again, he he performed. You know, he hasn't played at this level for a while, and like you said, you know, he's he tired. But like you said, you know, there's a lot of ability in the boy. Um, so like you said, I, again, I was really pleased again with his attitude and and uh, attitude towards um, the way the way he went about the game. And Billy um, with Merch getting injured and Harry going on international duty uh, with Gibraltar. We've had Robin for a couple of games. who's never let us down. Um, done really well. But we just obviously there's a chance to have a look at Billy, get him some minutes. Um, I've heard good things about him, um, and like I say tonight, uh, it, it proved it. Made a couple of good saves. His kicking was good. Um, so yeah, so hopefully we can get him some minutes. He wants towards the end of the season, um, and like I said, you know, that'd be that'd be that'd be good for him, you know, going forward, and you know, and hopefully for his future. Going two goals up in a game like this, how do you keep uh, to then obviously lose the two goals as well? One just for half time and second and second half. What does that do to the morality of the squad? Um, I, as I said, go, go two nil up is, it, and we've done it several times with Roman Glass and lost three uh, two, Slimbridge and lost three two. So you know, we've been in the op we've been in the done the op opposite. We were up two nil down at Wantage and one three two. So you know. It, it, it's not great that they get back into the momentum swings when they get get the third goal, but like I said, we went two up and we did we did really well early doors. We did the right things. They grew into the game. They played very well, and you know in patches and you know and they and they they dominated the second half. But like I said, you know if if, you, if you're going to get beat or you're going to you know you, sorry if you're not going to get beat and you're not going to play well, we played better than that and lost. Uh, yeah, better than that and lost. So to get a point. And a performance, they say, you know, some people say lucky, some people maybe not deserve. But, you know, over the course of the season, you've got to say, you know, you, know, you get your own luck. And I think tonight we had a little bit of luck. And I think it's a point that we, we did deserve for the season. Maybe not on the night, but for the season. We, we, you, know, you know, we haven't got some of the points we, we have deserved. Finally, you've got three home games left. What are you expecting out of those three games? Three wins. But honestly, three wins. I, I, you know, why not? I'm, you know, that's what I expect. Will I get them? I don't know. But why not go for three wins? Like I said we're not going down. We're not gonna, you know, we, you know, we've got two play teams fighting for the playoffs, and we've got Hereford Lads Club who we were winning comfortably at half time. We've got to make sure that that game we get the result that we want because we think, you know, obviously we can't take that three nil as gospel. They're going to come here and you know probably put up a better show than they did that night. So we've got to make sure we have the right attitude that night. And the two playoff contenders. You know, you know, pressure's on them. Let's go, let's go for it. See what they can do. If they throw the kitchen sink at us, and we get a, you know, and we can we can handle it. Let's do it. But like I said, I I, I want free wins. I want this club. To, I want people to come here and say, you know, that we we are a proper team. You know, we are a proper team, proper players, proper attitude, and you know that, that that's what I'm, I'll be striving for for the next couple of games. Thank you very much, Neil.